Welcome to Science Store Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello dear students and welcome to this uh, short introductory video on the subject mathematics. So in this class we are going to understand the meaning of mathematics, uh, general basic idea, uh, how to go about in this uh, two years of your uh, PUC education. So before I begin let me introduce myself, I am Arun Disoza, uh, I am a native of uh, Murbidri and I have been teaching for 9 years and throughout my career I have been uh, training the students for uh, competitive exams like uh, CET, JE mains and uh, other competitive exams. So now let us uh, begin uh, today's uh, session. So as I said we are going to understand a uh, brief and general idea of maths. So as I have written this word has two parts. So let us understand what are those two parts. So one that you see is uh, uh, math and matics. Now where do these words come from? So let me tell you these words come from the Greek words mathenein and techne. Uh, so, what do these words mean? Methanein means to learn and techne means either skill or method or you can say process. So, what does this total word mathematics mean? It is to learn the skills the methods and the processes of solving the problems of science. So now that you have understood the etymology of this uh, word mathematics, uh, let us understand the definition of mathematics. What we do in maths? So there are some people who define and let me quote two famous quotations, uh, one from Albert Einstein. So uh, what he says is this. Mathematics is the poetry of logical ideas. So he says it is a poetry that means it has a rhythm, it has a flow and it is uh, it consists of logical ideas. Uh, so it has a uh, logic uh, and there is one more uh, mathematician famous Indian mathematician that is uh, Shakuntala Devi and she defines like this without mathematics we can uh, we cannot do anything because mathematics is around us, everything around us is uh, numbers, quantity uh, and if you want the uh, proper definition of maths, you can define maths like this. Mathematics is the study of quantity, measurement and their relation and in general uh, just to make you understand better, uh, let me tell you this, mathematics is quantifying a quality. Uh, let us say you have a quality and how do you measure it? That is mathematics. So maths basically deals with quantifying so quantifying a quality. Let us say uh, let us uh, take one example of a quality, uh, you see a ball and you say it is round, so being round is a quality, so or you can say it is uh, very huge or you can say it is very small, but how do you measure it, how small it is, how big it is, so that question actually uh, pertains to maths, uh, so you measure, so how do you measure how big a ball is? So what you calculate? You calculate the radius. So 
so when you calculate the radius you understand whether the radius is uh, long or is it short and you can uh, uh, understand how big that ball is uh, similarly you can understand its volume sphere you know that okay so you can calculate its volume and understand or you can take its uh, circumference so there are different ways of measuring a quality uh, similarly you want to measure let us say the distance so you calculate the length and that is also quantifying a quality you have a quality and you measure it you quantify that quality so maths is basically quantifying a quality uh, now let us say you uh, want to measure the beauty of a person so you have a measure for that also and that is called golden ratio and what is that golden ratio well uh, what they say is if you have this uh, ratio let us say in your face you calculate the total length and then you calculate the length of this and hence you get the ratio of it if that ratio is very close to this 1.618 then you say uh, that ratio is perfect and uh, similarly there are many uh, ways you can measure the uh, beauty uh, whether uh, is it uh, symmetric you can talk about the symmetry if uh, if your face is very symmetric then you say it is very beautiful so maths is basically measurement measurement or quantifying uh, now uh, we have understood uh, what does math do now let us understand what are the uses of maths so tumba makkalige idond doubt irutte now maths ottivi pus alli science ottivi so maths odidda kudle namge yav tarada difference ide what is the use namge yen upayoga ide maths odidrinda so inta tumba question kelta irtare ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಕೆಲವರಿಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಬೋರಿಂಗ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲವೊಮ್ಮೆ ಯಾ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಅದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಝಡ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆಲ್ಫಾ ಬೀಟಾ ಗಾಮ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಕೆಲವೊಮ್ಮೆ ಬೋರಿಂಗ್ ಅನಿಸ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಲವ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲವ್ ಅ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ so first so uses of maths in daily life so in our day to day life where do we use maths so first of all we use maths in shopping let me tell you ಸೊ ಶಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಶಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕೌಂಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆಫರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೌಂಟ್ ದೇ ಮೆ ಸೇ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಮೆ ಸೇ ತರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೌಂಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೇ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೂ ಸೇಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಒಂದೇ ರೀತಿ ಎರಡು ಶರ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ಒಂದರ ಬೆಲೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೇ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದರ ಬೆಲೆ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ all right and they say this is uh, uh, 30% off and this is 20% off so which is cheaper so if you want to calculate that you need to understand the uh, percentage all right so you have to calculate that and you can understand uh, which is cheaper for me which is better for me uh, similarly you can uh, uh, use uh, maths in managing your money all right so you can uh, uh, put in a savings account all right which savings account is better uh, is it uh, in the post office or in the bank where do i save now which uh, bank gives me more interest you can understand all right you can calculate the compound interest and so on so you can manage your money in your daily life so their maths will be helpful for you and similarly you can understand which loan is better for me uh where i have to pay lesser interest uh which vehicle loan is better and similarly you can understand when you buy 
uh, or when you renew uh, insurance for your vehicle, uh, which insurance uh, uh, scheme is better. So all that you can calculate. So that way maths will help you in your daily life. Uh, similarly, maths will help you in sports. All right. How do I uh, use maths in sports? Uh, well, if you study geometry and trigonometry, you can understand how to play uh, better, how to improve, improve your skills of playing a game, uh, whichever game it is. Uh, you can understand the angle uh, in which you hold your bat. Okay the angle in which you uh, ball and all those things uh, if you are playing football let us say in which angle do i kick all right so how uh, uh, how much slope uh, in which slope i have to hit the ball and all those things you can uh, calculate uh, similarly uh, you can understand also the team statistics so in sports So you have skills and stats. Now uh, you have been watching cricket. Now IPL is going to start soon. So whenever you see a match, they will always give the statistics of a player. So what is his strike rate? What is his average score? So how much he has scored? How many centuries he has scored? How many? And how many 50s he has scored? And all those, uh, how many 30s in IPL? So all those things uh, they will give you. And that is called statistics. So if you are good with numbers, you will understand the sports better. You can watch a sports in a better way, in uh, whichever sport it is. Uh, similarly, uh, math will help you in cooking. Now many people in this lockdown uh, were uh, cooking by seeing the YouTube uh, videos. So in a video, they will give you a proportion uh, for 1 kg. This is the proportions of other uh, ingredients. Now, if you, if you want to cook a half of the recipe, let us say, or if you want to double the recipe, let us say, so there you have to calculate the proportions of other ingredients also. Either you have to increase it or you have to decrease it. So, if you are good with ratios and proportions, you will easily judge and uh, understand uh, how you can go about in this uh, recipe. And similarly, math will help you in gardening. So whenever you see a beautiful garden, what do you look? You look the geometric shapes, let us say circles or the triangles or the rectangles or whichever shapes or the star, let us say. All right. So in gardening also math will help you uh, mostly in geometric shapes. And similarly, you can uh, calculate and uh, find the area. Uh, so I have this much area and how do I divide it? So you can calculate the area and decide. So there also maths will help you. Other uh, now home decoration. Home decoration model nimge maths help Let us say you can calculate the square feet rate of painting a home or uh, if you talk about the art and craft, so origami they say, so paper craft and all that. So you will excel in those crafts if you understand the proper calculation methods. Uh, so similarly you can uh, uh, use maths in uh, traveling. So, how do I use maths in traveling? So, kalame plan martha etra. So, dura dondo uri hogbeko, dondo Pradesh ke hogbeko, ala tourist party ke hogbeko. So, you can calculate the distance. You can calculate the time duration required. Uh, you can calculate the cost of traveling. So, and you can decide. Uh, do I plan for one day? or do I plan for two days and all those things. Alright, so in these daily affairs, we can use math and we can be a better person if you are good with numbers and other uh, calculation methods. Uh, similarly, uh, you can uh, use maths in music. Alright, what maths is there in music? You have the rhythm, right? And Tala uh, Anta Heltave. Aderiti frequency, Shruti. Alright. So, which frequency is better? Now, if you know to play a guitar, you will get a tuner. So, you can tune the strings of the guitar. So, each string
string has a different frequency and if you are good uh, with numbers if you understand which frequency i have to set then your guitar will play a good music so in music also you can use these uh, uh, maths skills uh, so so far what we have understood is math will help us in our daily life now let us understand okay is it enough for me that math will help in my daily life so do i need to study that in uh, puc isn't that enough for that i have studied uh, 10 years till sslc from first standard till 10th standard i have studied maths now again in puc why do i need maths nan science yaga thagonde yaka maths thagonde a question nimge bartta irbodu iga so ivaga maths now puc le thagondre namma career ige job ige yav tara help agutte adan nodona all right so now let us understand what are the uses of maths for my career and for my job all right so there are many uh, occupations where maths is used all right so all those occupations i will sum up in one word so if i have to sum up all the maths related occupations in one word how do i do it so that word is stem all right it's not the stem of a tree all right now each letter in this word uh, means something now let me expand this and tell you what does this yes mean now yes is all right yes is science and uh, t stands for all right it's easy for you to guess technology yes and then e stands for engineering and m stands for pure maths all right so science technology engineering and maths so uh, this is summed up in uh, stem and expansion is here you can understand where maths is used it's used in science related careers uh, you can say it is physics chemistry or biology or uh, any other stream uh, of uh, uh, science even the uh, basic sciences uh, other than basic sciences you have psychology on other related sciences all right in technology uh there are numerous technologies that are coming up uh, recently and in all those things you have a subject that is maths and obviously in engineering you have maths and if you are going for maths related pure maths let us say you do msc in maths or any other things so in these things maths is a subject and you have to learn that uh and uh, uh, let us say you see in your uh, daily life that uh, people who build and fix things they need to understand this uh, uh, quantities shapes and uh, measurements obviously all right so uh, for example car mechanic all right he, he has to understand the basic uh, measurements all right and maths is a subject when you do uh, let us say diploma in uh, mechanical or uh, mechanical engineering all right maths is a subject you have to learn that otherwise you can't uh, uh, be good at uh, your job uh, similarly you have a architect all right uh, people who build uh, buildings okay so even a architect needs uh, the maths skills and similarly uh, even for medical uh, technicians medical technicians deal with the equipments that are there in the hospitals you have seen in the multi uh, 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 all right Uh, all those sophisticated uh, hospitals there are lot of tests that are done in all those tests what do they use they use the machines so for those machines you need the technicians all right and even for a doctor he has to understand the numbers when he sees a report of a test he needs to understand the numbers all right he has to understand the units and all those things uh, is it uh, gram or mg uh, milligram all those things all right so every person uses maths in one way or the other uh, similarly 
uh, maths helps us in analytical uh, thinking skills and problem solving skills uh, whenever you are given a problem how fast can i solve it and which uh, techniques i can use to solve it all right there are two things uh, you need to understand the logic behind that problem and uh, go for it or you need uh, the analysis of it analytical skills uh, similarly uh, there are numerous occupations i have given few examples mechanic architect and medical uh, technician uh, there are numerous occupations which are related to this stem all right science or technology or engineering or maths all right uh, just uh, briefly i will uh, go through uh, with these occupations all right uh, uh, firstly uh, you have uh, uh, biologist or chemist all right they want to do the research so you need to have the graph statistics and all those things all right so there they have to use the mathematical skills uh, similarly a uh, computer programmer he has to understand the logic the algorithm and all those things and similarly if you are going for the technology field uh, there is a biomedical field all right uh, chemical technology and robotics the space technology all right uh, structural mechanical electronics electrical industrial and material so all those technologies you have a subject that is maths and similarly uh, geologist or meteorologist uh, meteorologist means uh, one who forecast the weather when the monsoon begins monsoon yavaga start agutte antadella varadi havamana varadi ella heltarala so meteorologist also need to understand uh, uh, they should be good with uh, maths uh, similarly uh, surveyors those who survey the land and all uh, other things uh, even in military they uh, have lot of uses of maths uh, right so for coding if you want uh, if they want to send a message all right so uh, one place to the other uh, they will send in a code so other person has to decode that and read the message so their maths uh, programs are used all right algorithms are used and similarly you have uh, uh, tradesmen okay all the tradesmen uh, even uh, ordinary carpenter has to understand the ways of measurement units of measurement uh, so there also you need to be good with maths electricians plumbers welders or ac mechanic diesel mechanic any other field all right uh, similarly uh, the productions automobile production all right in a unit uh, of uh, automobile production if you want to work or any other uh, uh, industries you need to be good with maths and similarly if you are going for the pure sciences uh, zoologist or botanist or uh, physicist marine biologist or microbiology uh biotechnology or seismologist uh, ergonomist ergonomist is a person who deals with the soil and crop uh, and similarly epidemiologist uh, in these uh, days you might have heard uh, if you are watching news channels and all there are a lot of people a uh, lot of uh, uh, scientists that are coming and giving the reports all right uh, when does uh, this end the a pandemic any the corona pandemic covid 19 anta heltevi adu yavaga mugiyabodu antadella prediction ella madavaru epidemiologist they deal with the spread of the disease how fast this is spreading and when it may end so all uh, they are called epidemiologist so even there they have to understand the stats how fast it is going from one person to other okay uh, when uh, did we have first 1 lakh patients when did we have the second uh, 1 lakh patients how fast it is increasing and all those things so you need to understand the graph you need to understand the statistics so there also maths is used and uh, finally if you want to become a mathematician there obviously that is maths all right so these are the uh, few careers or occupations that have uh, told you Uh, where maths is used there are lot of other careers uh, where it is uh, obviously used and if you are uh, good with the, your calculations analytical skills any field you will excel 
So now that I have uh, told you the meaning, the definition and uh, uses of maths in daily life and uh, uses of maths for your careers and job. Now let us uh, talk about what you will study in this two years of uh, your UC course. All right. So first, uh, uh, in the first year, what are the chapters that you are going to study? All right. So now let me come to directly the syllabus of the first PUC. So first year only, you have chapter near All right. So totally 16 chapters you have. chapter. All right. So in Hadnar chapter only, nimge five types of uh, maths branches are there. So in Aidu branch gulo yau do anta hele dera. First is algebra all right the first branch you have the algebra first part of uh, your syllabus and then you have uh, geometry and then you have uh, calculus and uh, you have analysis and you have statistics all right so uh, even otherwise maths is 100% algebra geometry calculus analysis and statistics so combined all these five branches combined you have mathematics all right now uh, let me tell you the names of these chapters just to understand what you are going to study uh, in the first year. Uh, first chapter uh, is uh, set. So you have, uh, I am sure you know, uh, uh, I mean the general idea of what is a set and all those things, subset, alright. Uh, so in the first chapter you will study about the set theory. And in the second chapter, you will study about uh, relations and functions. All right. So, what is relation? All the relations are functions, or only few relations are functions. Uh, to become a function, uh, what criteria is followed, and all those things you will study in this chapter. All right, and then you have the trigonometry. All right, so uh, already you might have uh, had the introduction of uh, or the basic uh, knowledge of uh, trigonometric functions, sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, and all those things. Okay, so you have uh, uh, you. We will start from the basic in the PUC also. Uh, we go from the ratios, okay, angles, and then uh, we go for the functions, and then we have the identities of the trigonometric functions, all right, and then we have general solutions. Uh, so uh, it is a bit lengthy chapter. This is a very important chapter uh, as far as uh, first year and second year is concerned. Even for the competitive exams, uh, in and even in physics and chemistry also, they use this. Uh, uh, trigonometric functions, uh, mostly in physics, all uh, right. So that is an important chapter and a lengthy chapter. Uh, in the second year, most of the chapters have sine theta, cos theta, and all that. So, uh, and then we have the fourth chapter that is principle of mathematical induction. All right. So, how do you uh, solve a uh, theorem? All right. So, this is one of the ways of solving a theorem. You can use the method of mathematical induction. So, using this method, you can solve a uh, theorem. So, that is a uh, short chapter. All right. There is only one method that is mathematical induction, obviously, in that chapter. All right. And then the next chapter that we study is complex numbers.
Now, what are these complex numbers? All right, you know what is a natural number. You know what is uh, what are integers. All right, you know what are uh, rationals. You know what are irrationals. So, rationals and irrationals combined, you have the real number set, and then comes the complex numbers. All right, so uh, you know that square root of a negative number does not exist. That's what you have learned so far, right? So, square root of a negative number minus 1 or minus 2 or whatever. Now, we give a name for that. What is the name we give? We call it i. All right. And a complex number is a number of the form a plus ib. So, yaw the number e formal idre. What is i? i is square root of minus 1. So, yaw the number e formal idre. Then a complex number and the health of So, this is a real number. A is a real number, B is also a real number, I is square root of minus 1, alright. So, such a number is called complex number. A and B belong to R, alright. So, uh, this is uh, about the uh, chapter that we study. So, we have only the basic ideas of uh, this complex number, the algebra of complex number, addition, how do you subtract two complex numbers, how do you multiply them, how do you divide them, alright. So, all those things are dealt in that chapter. Other uh, next chapter not other, Uh, that is linear inequality. You know the difference between equality and inequality, right? So, you say x is equal to y. That is equal. One quantity is equal to other quantity. Now, what is the inequality? Either you say it is less than or less than or equal or you say greater than or greater than or equal. So, that is called linear inequality. Right, it is not quadratic, you know the difference between linear and quadratic, right. Okay. So, that is linear inequality and there we have to solve two linear inequalities or three linear inequalities by using a graph. So, you have a graph in this uh, chapter and that is a, a easy uh, chapter for you to score, alright, because you have 5 marks graph there. And then the next chapter that is uh, called permutations. All right, permutations and combinations. Uh, in this uh, chapter, we will study how do you arrange things. All right, you are given with five things. You have to arrange them. How many ways you can arrange them? All right. How many total arrangements you can make? All right, there are five boys, let us say. How you can make them sit in a bench? In what different combinations you can make them to sit? So, arrangement is permutations. All right. So, combinations is how many teams you can make? How many groups you can make? Uh, let us say there are five boys and if you want to make a team of two boys All right, to play uh, badminton or whatever game. Uh, you want to make a team of two members. So, that we call combinations, right. Com uh, permutations is arrangements and combinations is making group or team, all right, etc. Uh, the next chapter that is uh, related to this chapter and that is binomial theorem. All right. So, how do you solve this binomial theorem using mathematical induction. So, you will understand better here and what do you mean by by? By is 2 obviously and normal 2 terms alright. So, you want to find let us say a plus b to the power 10. You know a plus b whole square, you know a plus b whole cube, but you want to find a plus b to the power 10 or 100 or 50 or whatever. Okay. So, you want a general formula let us say n, n is any number, any natural number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, okay, any number uh, how big that is it can be alright. So, you have a general formula for that and we have to derive it using mathematical induction and that is the chapter binomial theorem 
uh, we have the derivation and then we have a few problems. So that is a short chapter that is binomial theorem. And the next chapter that follows binomial theorem uh, is sequence and series. Alright, so in this chapter you have the sequence and then if you add them it is a series. Alright, you have the different terms, uh, you know what is arithmetic progression, what is a geometric progression, alright. So you have the common difference between them, if you have the common difference then it is called uh, arithmetic progression and if you have the common ratio then it is called geometric progression, alright. So that is about uh, this chapter, you will study about the arithmetic progression and the geometric progression, arithmetic mean and the geometric mean and their combinations alright. So uh, that is the end of the algebra part. Then we have the geometry part and in the geometry part the first lesson that you have is straight lines. Alright, the next chapter that you have in the geometry is the three dimensional geometry, 3D geometry. Alright, uh, you know uh, what is 2D and 3D. So, you have a square and that is 2D. If you have a cube, right. So, if you have a cube that is three dimension. You can find the volume of three dimensional figure, you can find the area of two dimensional figure, right. So, uh, we will study about the straight lines and the connecting is you have three dimensional geometry. And the next chapter that follows is uh, you have a conic sections, alright. So, conic section means you have a cone, alright, it can be ice cream, ice cream cone or whatever, you have a cone and you cut. So, if you cut like this, you get a circle, alright, little slanted, you get ellipse, you have a parabola and hyperbola. So, that is the uh, thing that we study in this chapter, conic section, alright. So, you have straight lines, conic section, 3D. So, these three chapters deal with geometry part of maths. And then uh, you have the introduction of calculus and that is uh, limits and derivatives. Alright, so that is called limits and derivatives. First we study what is a limit and from there we have the development of that uh, topic that is derivatives and this chapter is called calculus and this chapter is very important for the second year. Alright, uh, so you have around uh, 70 percent of the syllabus in the second year based on the uh, uh, calculus part of maths. So, therefore, this chapter is just the introduction for that calculus part. Uh, and then uh, you have the analysis part of maths that is uh, you have mathematical reasoning, logic and then you have probability. Right. So, mathematical reasoning is logic, mathematical logic also it is called and it is a probability. I am sure you know at least few things about probability. If you toss a coin, what is the probability of getting a head? If you toss a coin once. So, let us see you toss the coin thrice. What is the probability of getting all the three heads or first two heads and one tail and all those things. So, what is the chance? or what is the probability. So, uh, this is the chapter about probability and then we have a uh, chapter that is statistics. Alright. So, this covers 
all the five branches of maths you have first algebra then we have the geometry then we have uh, introduction to calculus and then analysis part of maths and then we have the statistics also all right so uh, totally you have 16 chapters to learn in the first year but all those chapters are only introduction and uh, only few chapters are going to be little lengthier otherwise most of the chapters are only introduction and small chapters so nothing to worry about the number of chapters all right but we have a diverse syllabus we have different uh, topics in first year and all those topics are very uh, basics and those fundamentals these basics will help you when you go for the uh, next year all right uh, now what is the question paper pattern that is going to be in the uh, first year uh, as you know math is 100 uh, marks paper and there is no uh, internal assessment or the assignment all right so it's going to be 100 marks paper in the final exam so how this uh, uh, how this paper is divided you have the five parts you have the first part that is part a you have to answer 10 one mark questions and there are no options all are compulsory you have in questions and you have to answer these are two mark questions all right so out of 14 you have to answer 10 questions and then we have part c the part c consists of part c consists of uh, 14 uh, 3 mark questions and you have to answer again 10 all right so 10 1 mark 10 2 mark and 10 3 mark questions and then we have the part d and here you have 10 5 mark questions and out of those 10 you have to answer only 6 all right so 6 5 mark questions and finally we have uh, part e and in this part e we have 10 mark question but it is not only one question so there is uh, one six mark and one four mark combined together we have a ten mark question similarly we have one more so out of these two you have to answer any one all right so that is totally ten mark so totally we have hundred marks paper and ten one mark ten two mark uh, ten three mark questions and you have to answer six five marks and one 10 mark questions that is broken up into 6 plus 4 so this is the rough idea of the question paper pattern all right uh, so uh, that is a brief introduction to the uh, subject that is maths first of all we understood the meaning definition and the uses and the proper syllabus that you are going to study all right so before we uh, start with the first lesson uh, we will have a uh, few topics uh, connected to your high school syllabus and we will connect that uh, to the uh, PUC syllabus all right so, so a few topics that I have chosen and that uh, you will uh, see in the coming classes uh, so thank you don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates